Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you an item I sold on eBay this afternoon. Late afternoon, early evening here on eBay. This is a TomTom -tom GPS. I picked this up at, the, at a church sale. The same church sale. They were having a church sale in the fall. And it was like a donation sale. And I picked this up in the fall. And in the spring they had a sale. And I picked up a Hallmark Christmas ornament. This I picked up in the fall sale. In the middle of September I went to it. This I ended up selling for $14.99 free shipping. Is just a basic model of a TomTom -tom GPS. Here, I pull it here for you. It connects to it's a four EN fifty two mile Z one two three zero mile. This ended up selling for fourteen eighty. Like I said, it's an older mile, not worth the whole ton, but it does work. I test out it does work. Ended up selling it for fourteen eighty and shipped. And it comes with the power cord. The car charger and the USB. So so for that much, so no, I profit, but you know, not bad. And I'm sure with you some orders I have on eBay here. This is Uncharted Traits Fortune for the PlayStation Three. It's so for six for nine and for shipping. And I list that on on, the, on Sunday. It sold yesterday. This I listed. This is a Minecraft Xbox 360 disc one. I put it in the Xbox. It does work. Try and sell the hard drive, but would not let me. As it has, uh, comes with the, or it's, it comes with the base, probably the base arcade version. Or the arcade version and the regular version. You know, so it's like, has, you know, I don't know if it's ran off the disc or like automatically installed, you know. As like an installation, like or work, and so red, so that's a good thing. Thirteen eighty nine free shipping is acceptable condition. Crease is cracked, but it comes with no manual, it's just the disc only. This is a Brig oh yeah, Briggs and Stratton cylinder assembly. Took about a month to sell. Sold for twenty five bucks. I had this listed for twenty eight ninety nine. I seen there was ones that were listed about cheaper than the one I had. Like okay, that's fair then. I'll sell for twenty five. Shipped. And this is a Briggs and Strand. Six nine three five five one five nine three nine three four. There's two different part numbers for the same one. You know, I changed the partner. So for the old part number, the new partner. And this sold for Jari's do because because you know people might not only look up one part. They you know theirs might only have one part number. The old part number and the other only have the new part number. And then if there's multiple part numbers in the listing, the big listings they copy from. Especially if the seller is higher feedback. I always look it up. And if they and if it and if they're both connected to each other, then I set up both part numbers. And yeah, so for twenty four forty nine ship, this is uh, uh for full asking price. This took about a couple weeks to sell, I want to say. It's on 27, so. Not like t quite two weeks, but like a week and a half. And then this time, time GPS. I'm selling on the 16th. Or I listed on the 16th of September, and it sold on May 7th, so. About a week, sh nine days shy of eight months. And yeah, so it's oh, took a good bit to sell, but it did sell for the full asking price, fourteen eighty nine free shipping. So I'm happy, you know, if I can ship this GPS for about five bucks, you know, five bucks or less maybe, with the eBay discount, because eBay does um, um, the only thing that's cheaper is if you have um, you, smart post, 
the SurePost server, the PS SurePost. That's the only thing that Pirate Ship actually has cheaper now. Because e e eBay does have FedEx, the ground, the home delivery, the, the ground economy, which is like their version of like SurePost. It's basically where you drop it off at FedEx, ground economy is, and then you ship it at, you ship it, Um, through FedEx, you ship it, you drop it off at FedEx, like a FedEx and say like Walgreens or another business, or FedEx office, and FedEx would do most of the shipping on it. But then, for the final delivery, right before it gets delivered to the buyer, it would get dropped off at either a USPS. That's a cheaper way to ship, for, for sellers to ship big packages through to P.O. Boxes, maybe if you're shipping a big package to P.O. Box, you know, maybe you ship FedEx, and then, um, maybe you ship FedEx, and then, you know, you get the low cheap, and then it's, like, $20 FedEx, and it's $3 Post Office, you know, if it was, like, to a home address, and then since it's to P.O. Box, around the economy, it might be 25 you know, or, Something like that, you know, it's cheap. Not as exp it's, it's, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, so, kind of like the in between. It's like the good, it's like the cheap FedEx rates for most of the way. And they charge a little bit of a premium, a little bit higher than the normal FedEx, maybe because sometimes because, you know, yeah. So this is going USPS. It's actually going for seven dollars and sixteen cents to North Carolina. So I'll be making about five bucks. Probably about five bucks of this. About five dollars, five dollars fifty cents. So just whatever. So I'm just happy to get rid of it. And get getting gone, you know, get out of my inventory. Honestly, sometimes with the stale items, you know, I'm just happy to get the stale items in my inventory. And I didn't think this would be a stale inventory. You know, I thought maybe it would be a good item to flip, flip online. But it's just an all around with GPS. So it's kind of, you know, harder to sell, I guess. But here's what it is, you know, it is this is a church sale. Sandwich. Isn't bad, you know. You know, so I'm going to pack this up and then take it to post office tomorrow. So I text and take it.